Yeah, it works. Yeah, we can say. Well, first of all, welcome everybody. It's a uh, Champions League again. It's after a year away, but um, I've had Coach Vinny Perth, first team coach Sean Gill, and Captain Brian Garton. First of all, we'll have the main press conference. We'll take questions to the floor. Then we'll have the breakouts with the one on ones and that. Yes. So, yeah, we'll be on. Are we on? Chris? Yeah, ready to go? First of all, and we start. Vinny, question for you. First of all, um, well, two part question. Your first Champions League campaign as head coach. Um, how excited are you on a personal basis to be you know, going into the game tomorrow? Tomorrow. Um, and then, secondly, what, what sort of game can we expect tomorrow night? Yeah, first of all, I, I um, well, certainly don't see it as my first European game. I accept, obviously, my role in the club has changed since January, but uh, this is a very experienced group um, in terms of the management team we have and obviously the players. So it's not our first um, game, any stretch of imagination. I think um, we're very well prepared over the years. We've always prepared well and um, I've been heavily involved with that as well. So certainly not inexperienced in that sense. So um, it's really exciting time for everyone in the club. It's something we, we always look forward to. And then in terms of the game, I think. Um, it's a really, it's a really tough game. Um, we would have played this time last year without the talent, and I would consider Riga slightly better without the talent. So um, it's a game where we have to, it, um, we have to be ready for, we have to be prepared, and we have to bring our A game. I would say um, they would probably would have liked to go us in the draw or maybe the well side. So I think both because we were one of the seeded teams. So I think it's a favourable draw for them, and um, they could have got a lot worse. So they will see it as, a, as an opportunity. But we're in really good form, and um, we've a lot of players in really good uh, physical condition, and we think we're in a good place at the moment. And I think that's backed up by our league position. So this is this is the most positive I think we've ever been, and um, heading into a European game, and it's probably the best the squad has ever been, in my opinion, since I've been at the club. Um, so I think we're in a good place. Um, you referred to the experience there, obviously seasoned Champions League campaigner within the squad now, and many of the squad members here were in the, the longer campaign of 2016. We've got eight of the, nine of that former of squad now. How important is that experience going to be, um, drawing back on the experience within the management team and, and the playing staff tomorrow night? Yeah, I think we've done it all before. We've been behind. We've had difficult nights. We've, we've drawn here against FH from Iceland. And there's a bit of doom and gloom and we've had positive results here as well in Europe. So we've experienced all of the highs and the lows. So we, um, the players, you know, led by Brian, Stephen O'Donnell coming into the management team, they've got huge experience. They've been here, done that. So um, the experience, I think over the last seven years, we've had, this will be 26 European games before the season's out, we're heading towards Turkey. Um, so we're very experienced. Most people in play League of Ireland would experience the average player might experience, experience six eight games. The, these these guys are, um, are way ahead of that. So experience wise, that's not a that's not a, a worry or a concern in any way, shape or form. A uh, question for John now. Um, John, when you return to the club this close season, um, this first round day, I dare say was circled in the diary the European experience yourself. Um, Previously, but not in the, the first time in the Champions League. How um, how much were you looking forward to this, and part of the reason that you were keen to get back involved with the club at the start of the year? It's been, it's been, been a great since I've come back to the club. Not only the, uh, the not only the, uh, the European part of it, but the, 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 the way we've got in the league as well. It's great to be around a, a really great bunch of people. First of all, um, really, the club is in a good place on and off the pitch. Um, and it's, it's something, to, something to embrace. You can see it with the last week, you know, kind of leading up to today, the, 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 the barometer kind of, the mercury kind of rising with the players. You can see there's a, there's a sense of excitement and a, and a, a sense, a sense of uh, looking forward to this. Um, and it's great just to be part of it. And it's great to be learning off. Like the, I'm, I'm the eldest, eldest statesman in the group, and I'm probably a novice when it comes to, to European football. I've, I've, I've been there once before with another club. But, so I'm learning an awful lot off of the preparation that's gone into this week. It's been actually mind blowing actually to see the level of detail that the, the guys have got into, and it's a great learning curve for me personally. Thanks, John. Um, Brian, from the players' point of view, um, how's the mood within the squad? 
excited. Yeah, looking forward to it. It's, it's always like that. Like, like John says, the, the levels just go up at this time of the year. Um, the excitement, the buzz, everything around the town, around the club, just, it all goes through the roof. Um, and that's what we build towards. Obviously, you want to win the league every year, but uh, I suppose success in the barometer we're measuring on now is Europe. And you know that's come from previous success for us. Um, and in, in the lads, yeah, there's a great buzz. But there's also uh, there's a hard determination and a competitiveness because we're such a strong squad. Everybody wants to play, and you can put out anyone out there, and you know you can't um, you can't knock the eleven. So um, so there's that excitement, there's that buzz, but there's also a great level of competitiveness, which is brilliant to train and brilliant to be part of. You know because it means we all have to be at it and you all kick on and, and you know you're at your best. And is that level of competition as high now as, as you've experienced in your time in the squad? Because we oh, it's by far the highest in, at the club since I've been here. Yeah. Um, I don't mind you answering this question, mate. Brian, John, Vinny, um, but we can expect a packed house tomorrow night. It's been sold out for a long time already. Um, the atmosphere, the European nights, is special. Um, that must be a, a huge factor. To be calling everyone to come out, get here early, and make a lot of noise tomorrow night. Yeah, I think um, this season. I mean, it's well documented early in the season with injuries and, and different bits and pieces. Um, our backs were against the wall at times. So I think the second half performance against UCD, when we walked out, when the players walked out of the tunnel, the reaction from the shed and, and people in Oriel Park really gave them a huge lift. Um, you can pick out a lot of different games, and, but the one up in the two up in Tallinn and the travel and support we brought to that venue. Um, has been outstanding. So I would say um, as a club this year, I said it at the start, I think we needed to do this together. We needed to uh, all sort of help each other. There's no, there's no doubt we've had um, some injuries in, in key areas and it's, it's made it difficult for this season. But the level of support we've had this year um, in a way venues has been unreal. And I think the highlight for the players was definitely, was definitely Tala away. Um, but Going back to when we were in a difficult place, um, we were 1-0 down at half-time against UCD and the roar when we came out of the second half is something the players have spoken about. So um, we need this to be another special European night. We need to do it together, ourselves, the, the football side, but definitely as a club and as a town, we need to, we need to uh, not take these nights for granted. Um, they're, they're special nights and we have to enjoy them and, and use that as a real positive. That's great. And um, on the pitch, what's the key message you'll be getting over to the players tomorrow evening before kick-off? Yeah, look, they're, they're well, they know what to expect. Um, there'll be very little talk between now and, and the kick-off. They've been really well prepared. Um, you know, Rory Higgins, Stephen O'Donnell have been, they've seen them, they've done a huge amount of work. The, the players really understand the opposition. Um, so it is getting close to the stage, over to you, to you lads, who are very experienced players. Obviously, they need some key uh, information just before kickoff. But um, in Europe, it's really about keeping a clear head, um, you know, managing every situation that comes your way. The different scenarios will happen. As I said, we've had potentially disasters here before in Iceland. Came from Iceland at home, and we've had some really good nights. They're experienced. They'll be able to deal with whatever's thrown at them tomorrow night. And you know, it's also they must enjoy this. They must enjoy, we shouldn't be taking Champions League football for granted as a club, and the players shouldn't, so we'll enjoy the night. Great, thanks, Finney. Um, that's all from us for the streaming part of the, the conference. If anyone else wants to ask any questions while the stream is running, you have the chance now. If not, we'll, uh, we'll break out. Anybody? Okay. Yeah. So we'll have break out the other ones, and then the daily slides. Well, that's in general. Thank you very much.